All right. Well, we know with tourism in mind, we turn to our continuing series on Hawaii wood and the recent surge in TV and film production that uh, has brought been brought, brought to the islands. And joining us this morning is Sam Lukra from the University of Hawaii uh, Economic Research Organization. And good morning to you. Welcome to our red carpet. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Feeling like a star right now, right? Well, let's talk about. You know, has there been any other place that we know of that has seen an, a boom in tourism because of an Oscar, uh, Oscar nomination, Oscar winning? Well, you know, there's two movies that are associated with big tourism booms. One is Crocodile Dundee in Australia. And I don't think that was a big Oscar, <laughs> Oscar, winning, winner. <laughs> Oscar winner movie, but that brought a lot of tourists to Australia. Okay. Um, the other one is Lord of the Rings. The Lord oh. of the Rings trilogy um, was, uh, had some Oscar buzz. Uh, I think it won some Oscars. And the New Zealand Marketing Board for Tourism built uh, the Lord of the Rings trilogy into its marketing plans uh, for that year. And there, there have been millions of tourists who have gone to New Zealand to see the locations, uh, to learn more about how they filmed. Uh, that's been a very big deal there. What has helped Hawaii is our TV shows, I think, right? I think the TV shows have generally been more important than the movies here. Um, uh, shows like Magnum P.I., <laughs> shows like Hawaii Five-0, the old version, and Hawaii Five-0, the, the new version. You're talking and about 8 to 20 million viewers a week. And that lost. week after week yeah. see it. And lost, and lost, yeah. and lost. Um, yeah. Lost definitely de uh, uh, generated some tourists, came here to see the locations, uh, learn more about the filming of the show. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, you know, uh, we saw some big increases in tourism in January and February, especially right. on Kauai. Do you think that may have anything to do with the movie to stand okay, in? Okay, so there's, there's two factors going on. One is that Kauai has a lot more uh, lift. There's a lot more seats flying to Kauai right now. So, you know, airlines have just opened up uh, more flights. Um, at the same time, we saw some pretty hefty increases, and they're continuing on into February. I think some of this may be a little bit of buzz due to the film. Mm -hmm. Kauai is portrayed beautifully in the film. Uh, there's some beautiful vistas of the beach uh, from the mountains. The beach scenes themselves are wonderful. Um, it looks like a really great place to visit. Right. Well, do you think with the descendants, we will be seeing a lot more tourism uh, in Hawaii in general, especially with George Clooney. I know he's got a good chance of winning Best Actor. Yeah, yeah. in trade has him listed as about a 35% chance. Uh, he, was, he was further <laughs> ahead before, but he's, 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 oh. down, he's down at 35. Uh, um, I, I, I think it's a type of thing that it's only good publicity, and that's one of the reasons why we subsidize um, film production in Hawaii. Right, so you think that is viable? You think that's a good idea? I think it's, good, it's, it's a good idea as long as it remains limited. Um, we have a 15 to 20 percent subsidy of local production costs because of this type of spillover where when we film a film in Hawaii, not only do people working in the local film industry get business, but there are some, there are some spillovers over to the tourism industry, um, then it's worthwhile to have some, some relatively small public subsidies. The 15 to 20 percent to me seems to be a measured, reasonable subsidy. We haven't done any studies of it either. Sure. There haven't been studies done either at the University or of DBED that have really, really tried to pin down some of these impacts. Um, but it, it, it doesn't seem like a bad idea as long as it stays limited in scope. All right, maybe we should. All right, okay, and just, just to pick your brain, so what do you think? Descendants has a good chance of winning? Um, no, I think the artist <laughs> is kind of pulling ahead. I okay. wish it would yeah, win. I think, it's, I, I think it's a film that is a great film about Hawaii, and it's also just a great human interest film. It's, it's really hard to bring such films together. I really urge people who haven't seen it to see it. <laughs> All right, thanks, Sumner. Okay. Thumbs up from Sumner. Yes. Two thumbs. <laughs> Two, Two thumbs, thumbs up. up. Two All right. Up. All right, find out what else <laughs> the economists that you hear are tracking by heading to their Facebook page. You can also find a link to their website on the As Seen On section of KITV.com. Sumner, thanks for coming in this Thank morning. You. We'll be right back.